Alright guys, we are back with some more of uh, Mega Man X3. Uh, my name is Arx, and yeah, uh, it's been a little bit since I've recorded, but I'm back and we killed this guy last time and we did the entrance phase, so now we're heading to this guy, which is, uh, I forget his name. I forget his name, I don't remember exactly who we're fighting here. It is. Let's find out right now. Toxic Seahorse, yes, I remember. He's pretty simple. So he's weak, like I, I think I said last part, I don't remember what I said last part, but I'm really not going to have a good pattern or a run for this game like I did for X1 and X2, because uh, this game is hard, so I, I stick to the regular route of killing every guy with their weakness. You know, this is the only game, well actually no, sorry, that's a lie, but this is really the only game where I have a hard time getting everything in 100% in this game, because it's a hard game, I gotta, I'm not going to lie, I'm not going to sit here and act like I'm some mad amazing player at this game because I'm not X1 X2 I'm pretty good at X4 X5 maybe not X5 this game gives me a hard time this X6 and the other ones so uh, yeah we're just going to the sewers don't mind us we're just swimming through the sewage and it's pretty nasty I can imagine oh, get some energy for our E tank and we're good all right climbing shoot you in your face up and come all the way up here and you see a, there's a heart tank or a heart, whatever you call it. I always forget get those names. I always hit the names from Zelda and this confused. Heart tank, heart container, I don't know. Alright, so this is a room. I don't know if I mentioned it, but in this game, just like X, um, X2, you fight, there's optional boss fights in throughout the game. But this time, they're a little more random. They're not, they're not really optional. You have no choice but to fight them, but you don't know when you're going to fight them. Hence those rooms. Like I, I think I said that in the last part. But yeah, um, they're very hard and they're very annoying. But I will be fighting them because I have no choice. All right, we just got past that part and now, sub boss. This guy, this guy, it's not that hard. He he would be hard if they made his tentacle thingies um, actually um, allow them to actually hit you. But you, as you can see, they, you just go right past them, so you don't have to worry about that. So he's really he's pretty simple. So you just gotta keep on blasting him, blasting him away, I guess. And there you go. Oh yeah, I took forever for just a sub boss. Oh crap! I should have got how got that. Actually, I don't need it, but I never use the weapons in this game for fun. Other than the boss fights, you know, I never use it. And out of other than boss fights and getting certain objects with those weapons, I never use the uh, energies. Oh crap, that hurt. Alright, these guys are very painful. Alright. I don't know where that guy went, but uh, well, I guess he disappeared. What the hell? Ah, and die. Love the music, again. I'm not gonna lie. This and Lizard Buffalo are probably my favorite tracks. Alright, and we are on out of here. We and are we at the boss fight already? That'd be nice. Yes, I am. We are. Uh, let me get confused. Alright, so, uh, that's right. This guy's weakness is the ice. Ice, whatever you call it. So it's pretty simple when you have the ice thing. Um, so all you gotta do is just, uh, sh oh, shoot one over. Oh, crap. I just did this 20 minutes ago. Oh, wow. I'm really messing this up now. Uh, would you? There you go. So you shoot one. Well, let's see if I can get this right. Nope, I guess I can't get this right. Holy crap. Holy crap. I literally just did this five minutes ago. And then when I try to do it now, while I'm recording, obviously, it just decides to completely just mess up with me. I don't know what I did wrong there, but let's not do that again. I don't get it. Why isn't it? There you go. That's what you gotta do. Just shoot it above his head, and then he'll die. It's not that hard. I don't know why that took me forever. There. Wow, that was a fail attempt, number one, numero uno. Could be a lot of game over this game. I could, I could feel it. I could sense it. I don't even know how many lives I have left. J 
pay you. And we got that done with. And so by defeating this guy, he gives us the almighty power of looking green. Green and yellow. Like that song. Not really, that song. Anyways. You get the acid burst. A burst of acid, as you can see. It's pretty cool, pretty cool. Not gonna lie. Uh oh, story time. Look at that eyeball in the back, Jesus Christ. Doppler, that's his name. He's a Maverick Hunter I failed to catch last time. I had no idea he was so powerful. Bit and bite. Uh, I get it. Bit and bite. That's bit. And that's bite. Oh, Jesus. Bring that Maverick Hunter to me, alive if possible. Affirmative, Dr. Doppler. So remember those optional boss fights I was telling you about? Uh, yeah. Mysterious Maverick. Alive, Dr. Doppler? You are so kind. Watch your mouth or I'll put you back where I found you. Hmm. Even with your hands, Miss, you're still no match for me. Thanks for the upgrade, Doctor. But I have a score to settle. And I'll do it my way. Gee, I wonder who that mysterious Maverick is. Fine, just make sure you do it. Whatever. Alright, alright. So we can believe that Maverick Hunter defeated my master twice in the past. I'm assuming your master was Sigma. Yeah, we whooped that dude's ass. Remember Sigma? He was with an asshole. Fuck him. Fuck Sigma. Alright. So we are done with that. So now we're heading to a tunnel of a rhino. This guy's level bores me because it's too long and it's very annoying and I probably will get a game over in this level. Wait for it. Tunnel Rhino. Dun dun dun. Alright, so how many lives do I have first off? Let's check that before we move on. Alright, we got about, well, I guess, technically two. Oh, alright. Not the, not the best, okay, not the best start to the level. We're already halfway, half our health is already gone. But, you know, we'll make it up. We'll make it up. Alright, 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 come on. Alright, let's get out of here. Oh god, die. Alright, those guys do a lot of damage to you. Alright, you know what? Screw you, buddy. I'm not even gonna bother you. So, um, the hard tank here, we can't get it yet. We gotta come back later. The bad thing about this game is a lot of backtracking. If you go, if you wanna play the easy route, there's a lot of backtracking afterwards. Which is annoying, but you know, what are you gonna do? So, let's just not complain and just move on with life. Alright, die. Bam, boom, bam, boom. Music's pretty catchy. Alright, and you come over here all the way to the right, and there's the an E tank. There's our second one, I believe. Is it? I don't know. Let's find out. Yes, it is. Second E tank. And this is our first fight. fight. Is it? Are we fighting? Nope, we're not. I guess we're not fighting these guys yet. So these optional rooms, like I said, you fight um, those two bosses, bitten by the yellow dude and the big red and black dude. And uh, they're a pain in the ass. Bit is not as bad as bite, but we'll get to that later. Uh, okay, you, did, you just didn't happen to jump that time. Bang, man. Alright, so, uh oh god. Alright. So, uh, let's just try to not die here. Alright, why do you not jump whenever I need you to jump? Alright, whatever, screw it. I kinda need this energy. Alright, you missed twice already. Alright, so let's go ahead and that, get that. And, so yeah, why isn't the jump button just, like, working when I need it to work? Bit and bite, they're a pain in the ass, but, you know, they're not gonna completely ruined this playthrough. I finally got, or at least I remember from the last time I played, finally got um, their ways of fighting down, so they won't probably give me that much of a hard time. Oh, oh. Wow, that's a pretty big drill, or at least I hope it's a drill. Um, so, let's just try not to get hit by that. Okay, get hit by that thing. It's whatever. So he's pretty simple, this guy. I, God damn it, would you get off me? As I keep getting hit. Um, you just gotta. Wow. You don't wanna hit the wall or you wanna be on the wall when this guy hits it with his drill because, uh, yeah, or that. Because that'll happen. And I'm dead now. I believe it's the first time I've ever died by this guy. 
And I'm all the way back here. Great. Alright, let's try to do this again. Oh god, I almost fell. Almost fell to my death there. I can't believe I really died to this guy. This guy is like the most basic boss fight ever, and I died there. Alright, you ready for round two, buddy? Uh, Alright, missed. Oh, where we got him this time. Alright, get off me. Alright, stop that. You just stop breathing. Just stop breathing. Ow. Ow. Oh my god. Any day now. There you go. There you go. There you go. I don't know why all the sub bosses have their own, like, animation for their death. Their sub boss. They're not that important. It's charging up being a secret. Alright, so let's go ahead and move on. Alright, this is freaking... Alright, come on. Alright, and... Oh god. Oh god, no! Okay. Well, I died and I had to come get back to where I left off and oh crap. Um, this guy decided to show up. Um, did they just say you had order? You have orders to destroy me? I, I thought he said to bring me back alive. Why are you gonna destroy me? Um, so there's later on in the game. It depending on how you kill Bit and Bite, you'll have a different type of boss fight going on in the le last levels. So if you kill Bit and Bite with their weakness, you'll have a different boss fight. But if you just kill them with the regular X Buster, you um, get a different boss. Now, I don't want to fight the boss fight you get when you kill both of them with their weaknesses, so I'm going to kill Bit with um, the X Buster and then I'm going to kill Bite with his weakness because Bite is very, very annoying and I don't want to deal with him. Alright, uh, you know what? Okay. I was going to press pause and I was going to get an E tank. But I guess I'm not going to do either of those things. Alright, I'm back. I don't know how much I did damage to him or how much damage I did to him last time. But I'm just going to start talking now. So, uh, he's not that hard. He's just constantly going back and forth. Just like all the other bosses in this game. And you just want to, you know, avoid all the stuff he's throwing at you. So, he's not that hard. So, he'll, like, fly or glide across the room depending on where you were last, like, at. So... It's not that hard, you want to avoid these rings, because if you get hit by it, he will keep you locked up. And you know what? I don't want to deal with this again, so let's go ahead and do that. Alright. Are you almost dead here? Oh, God. Uh, we almost, we're almost on here. And there you go. The next time we meet, the results shall be different. Yeah, we'll see about that. You get out of here. Go tell your boyfriend, Bite, that I'm coming for him. Not not literally coming for him, but like, but not, well, I mean, forget I said anything, alright? I'm not coming for anyone. Alright, so, um, that was done. So I'm gonna go back to pausing before I could just get back to the where I left off, which was, I don't know where. But, uh, yeah. Okay, I'm back. Oh, Alright, let's not try to die this time. I don't even care about this guy. You, you jerk, you ruined everything. I could have been done with this level. Look, I'm at the end already. Look. Oh, no, I guess not. Never mind, I lied. I'm not at the end already. Alright, you could die. And you could die. And you could die. And you especially can die. Alright, so that was easy. See, technically I was at pretty much at the end. Alright, charge one more shot up, and there you go. See, right here, at the end. And that jerk had to kill me. Alright, we have full energy, we have our weak weakness to this guy, so we should be good. Hey, so this is another one of those bosses that goes to the left, and then it goes to the right, and it goes to the left, and then goes to the right, and he's not that entertaining, really. Alright, stop right there. Right there. Oh god, oh god, okay. Alright. Okay, 
Alright, God. Okay, so yeah, pretty much do this. Just go to the right, jump off the wall. Go to the left, jump off the wall. Hit him with acid every now and then. And he'll be done before you know it. Oh, God. Sometimes he'll stop like that. And it'll kind of throw you off, but he shouldn't be give you. He shouldn't give you that much. Alright. All right, can you blow up another day, buddy? I'm not really interested. <laughs> All right, so we killed this guy, so he gave us the amazing power of needles. He gave us tornado fang. Yeah, cool. All right, so uh, next time we're gonna go ahead and uh, continue the rest of these. So I think. Our next eye will be, um, Volt Catchwish? Or is this Volt Catfish? I don't know. One of these guys. They're both fishes, these two, right here. But, um, whatever. We'll do it next time. So, see you guys then.